Hey guys, this is me Ammar and welcome back to our channel Ampnix. In this video, we are going to design a LDO which can convert 5 volt into 3.3 volt. And this is very popular for powering up the microcontrollers like ESP32 or STM32 etc. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a detailed tutorial for designing the schematic, assigning the footprint and designing the complete layout. So let's get started we'll go in file new project then we have to redirect where we want to save this project so i have created a folder named modules design 3.3 ldo so i'll go into it and i'll name this project as ams triple one seven three v three all right just hit save now project is created see the schematic file and the pcb file so i will just double click on this schematic folder all right now schematic is open so we will first fill the basic information in this sheet and this is a good practice so for filling the information you have to go in file then page setting issue the date revision this is our version v point zero one and you, you can name it anything it is up to you all right so i'm sorry the name of this project is triple one seven three v three three v three ldo all right just hit okay so as you can see now the information is here the title of this project the company name revision and you can also mention something like you designed it and who designed this schematic so i will start adding the component in the sheet and for adding the component in the sheet in keycad you can use the shortcut key a or you can just click here place symbols so we will start adding the component the triple one seven and you can see here we have a mystical one seven 1.5 and 3.3 so we need 3.3 volts so i will just double click on it and i'll place it here we need few capacitor and resistor led and connector so for adding the component again in the sheet you can again use the shortcut key a or just left click on the mouse you can come again here so i'll just type c for the capacitor double click on it i need four capacitors so what i will do here i'll just make the duplicate so first press the escape so that you can escape this mode now i will just duplicate this one so for duplicating you have to press ctrl plus d all right i'll select both of them again ctrl plus t and i'll put it here okay so we need a resistor so for adding resistor use shortcut key r all right we need led also so for led you have to search led and for rotation use the shortcut key r all right for adding the connector we will search for connector and we are going to use this one connector one into two pin double click on it all right then control plus t this is for input and this j2 is for output all right and i'll just flip it so using this one you can use it for flipping or for mirroring whatever you want to say it you can say for wiring these devices we can use the shortcut key w or you can just go here so you can see this green line all right after wiring up the devices we need to add some net labels what are the net labels so basically net labels helps you to denote the name of that track and basically it is very helpful for designing the tracks so when we will design the tracks it will make more sense so as of now this is our input size 
and this is our output side so i will add here 5 volt net and here 3.3 volt net so for adding the nets we can click here place power symbol and i will search here 5b so 5b for input side and 3.3 volt for output side double click on it we will we just need to update the value of these capacitors all right so i will add the value so this resistor is about 1k this is about 10 microfarad all right and this is 100 nanofarad all right so so far we have completed with the schematic so in keycat we have to go mainly with three steps number one you have to design the schematic number two you have to assign the footprint for it so what is footprint so let's check it out for assigning the footprint for these devices we have to click here assign footprint mm -hmm now we have to assign the footprint for these capacitors and resistors leds so for selecting c1 to c4 you can press the shift button on your keyboard and just click top of the c1 and c4 now we have to select the footprint for it and we are going to use 0603 package okay so basically this is called footprint and you can also check the 3d model of this device okay so here we are going to use this package similarly for leds and you can also check it out from here like if you just go you can see here led smd you will land up on the same page okay so 0603 then we have connector okay j1 and j2 i'm sorry j1 and j2 then we have to go in the connector pin header and pitch is about 2.54 so what is called pitch so if i just left click on it right click then view selected dead footprint now you can see the distance between this pin and this pin is about 2.54 so this is called pitch okay so i'll just double click on it and then we have resistor so we have to look for resistor smd resistor all right resistor smd then same package 0603 okay now we have we are done with the footprint assignment we will save it okay you can use also control plus s or you can just click here okay so once you hit the ok button on the bottom side bottom right side it will get out of that window now we are done with the step two also final step of designing is layout and track so for that we have to double click here switch to pcb editor then we have to click here update pcb from schematic update pcb hit close now you can see all the components which we used in the schematic the mechanical dimension of this module is something like this 25 into 11 so we are going to replicate the same value we will select the edge cut layer and we will hit here draw rectangle we will make sure to keep the grid size about 1 mm so that we can all right which is 25 into 11 mm all right now we will try to place the component inside the board so that we can design the track so for moving the component you can just uh, drag and drop okay so i will keep the grid size smaller so that i can have precise control and use r for rotation okay you can use the shortcut key r for the rotation okay
all right now component placement is already done so we will just hide this j1 and j2 designator so for hiding this designator we will select the component press e and just unclick this okay similarly i'll do the same thing here okay now it is done so we will design the track now so for designing the track we can just select the front copper layer and then we will go in pre-edit defined sizes because we have to design our own custom size so i'll keep 0.5 mm and 1 mm okay we will select the track design about 1 mm okay we'll select the front copper layer and just click here then here we will put a via okay so if you just select this one this is by default size but we have to put our custom size so i'll put here 0.6 diameter and inner diameter would be 0.45 and just hit okay so i'll just select this value and i'll keep a via here now we will pour the copper layer here for ground so that we we can avoid designing the manual track for the ground and designing and pouring the copper layer on the pcb has its own benefits so i will just do the same thing hit click pad connection would be solid select both layer net level is going to be ground hit ok now we will just redraw a outer rectangle double click here now use the shortcut key b all right so here we have completed the track designing and layout the last step of this design is to add some silk screen so that we can verify like what pin is this okay so we will select the front silk screen and we this is our v out this is our v in so this is our plus this is minus this is plus this is minus and i'll go in text and i will put one plus i'll keep it bold all right and control plus d all right so here we are done with the design so if i turn on the 3d model now you can see we have designed the complete ldo so if you just want to hide this header pin just again select the headers press e and go in 3d model and click this similarly repeat the same thing for here as well now if i turn on the 3d model you can see our module is ready files and pcb links are in the description below you can download it from github if you found it helpful hit the like and subscribe and turn on the bell icon for more keycat tutorials thank you for watching